Okay, so kita uh, sebab AJ akan similar to NJ, okay? Uh, tapi dia dia, dia dia apa AJ ni dia lagi lagi ganas sedikit lah, okay? <laughs> okay, so boleh dapat skrin saya? Boleh boleh. Boleh ya, okay. So NJ tadi kita nampak NJ was almost like a, uh, on the top quarter lah, tapi ada ke mid. Uh, mid top daripada the previous uh, top uh, ataupun resistance they create tapi AJ is almost dekat dia punya dia punya resistance level okay so the previous resistance level they create is uh, dekat berapa ya eh? 86.20 okay so harga sekarang ni almost dekat 85.50 almost uh, only short of about 70 plus pips 75 uh, pips uh, kat situ so I think uh, this resistant acting uh, with a strong, uh, strong uh, nila. Even the previous resistant, kita nampak pun 85.70. So I think it's created. Kalau tapi head and shoulder tak adalah nampak terlalu ni. So ini kalau kita ambil this uh, shoulder ni head ni. Uh, tapi what I'm trying to say is this resistant uh, is this uh, orang kata dia dah create almost like a double top dekat sini lah. Kecuali okay. ni kalau kita ambil sebagai fake out dan dia atas. So similar to NJ punya scenario, JPY is still uh, weak and this uh, risk on uh, currency. Okay, normally AJ become a, a benchmark currency lah. Tapi it actually is quite surprising uh, with the Ukraine Russia issue. Okay, kita nampak uh, AJ dengan NJ boleh boleh uh, naik ke atas. Uh, okay, together with gold. So normally uh, apa dia punya correlation is a inverse correlation tapi for this scenario ini yang uh, apa tu ramai uh, trader fundamental ataupun kita pun terperangkap eh sepatutnya JPY kuat <laughs> AJ ke bawah NJ ke bawah tapi dalam kes ni ikut rasa isu lagi dia naik ke atas so this is why sometimes correlation can break down and also of course uh, dia bukan uh, one factor that can actually impact uh, sebab dia ada also it's a pump down so okay Uh, commodity uh, prices is going up uh, up to the roof ataupun breaking uh, through the roof okay so dengan ni uh, okay i think there is a possibility dia boleh naik semula create uh, this uh, in this uh, time frame uh, maybe a double top again before they drop okay ataupun boleh menjadi new higher high uh, dekat almost dekat 80, 87 level before dia uh, drop sebab We just see whether dalam weekly time frame ada tak the previous uh, resistance. Okay, uh, kalau tengok dekat belakang sini, probably the next one looking about 87.50. Okay, so there is a possibility dia boleh pergi ke atas, okay, dekat 87.50, okay, ataupun boleh create this this kind of a move. Macam kita nampak almost dekat triple top ni, okay, dekat what price level 88 okay yeah i think 88 so 87.50 and 88 uh, might 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 uh, become a good zone untuk kalau nak sell lah sebab nampak is quite bullish so with the rba meeting coming up uh, on tuesday or wednesday uh, early wednesday so maybe just kalau nak sell probably just see uh, price action dekat sini kalau ada strong rejection then baru ni sell tapi kadang-kadang apa yang boleh berlaku, okay, kalau saya pergi dekat daily time frame, <laughs> okay, kadang-kadang kita nampak dekat daily time frame, so saya pun kadang-kadang terpangkat, so kita nampak just this, so kita nampak, oh, kalau dia naik atas ni, dia ada rejection, kita swing sell, full margin, tapi apa yang berlaku, <laughs> dekat sini dia turun sedikit, lepas tu dia naik ke atas, sebab dalam weekly time frame, uh, actually dia ada resistant atas lagi, So, so this is a thing uh, you guys have to watch out for. So sometimes kita cuma uh, tengok dekat time frame yang kita nak tengok which is a, at a lower time frame maybe H1, H4 ataupun daily. Kita lupa weekly. So kalau nampak weekly, kita nampak clearly uh, actually is a very strong uh, bullish move. Okay. Ada peluang dia masih uh, boleh buat benda ni maknanya dia uh, main macam ni maknanya dia just uh, try to kat sini. Padahal kita dah nampak rejection satu candle daily atau S4 ada rejection kita terus full margin. <laughs> lepas tu dia just main kat sini lepas tu naik atas create a new higher high lepas tu baru drop. 
So I think uh, generally trader yang dah uh, apa trade lebih dari 4 5 tahun ni uh, mungkin boleh inilah <laughs> ada pengalaman banyak kali ha, bun bun ada pengalaman macam ni kita so, kita mungkin dapat oh yang kita Kadang-kadang tengok daily kita, time frame ah ha, kita nampak ke daily time frame uh, ataupun H4 so katakan saya tengok dekat daily atau H4 okey macam ni kita nampak oh ini yes, dah ada ada over over board okey lepas tu kita tengok dekat eh ada sampai instant yes uh, lepas tu kita full maji dekat sini okey lepas tu dia nampak oh okey nampak profit sedikit kita tak close atau kita tak break even tiba-tiba dia <laughs> naik ke atas lepas dia MC kat account kita oh baru kita pergi dekat weekly time frame baru kita cari alamat kita ada <laughs> Uh, weekly time frame dia boleh buat benda ni. <laughs> yeah, okay. betul betul. So, uh, I think uh, that's right. Okay, as a part of uh, kita punya advice atau recommendation, just uh, be careful lah. Okay. Sebab tu uh, kalau time macam ni kita nak cakap scalp atau pun intraday, maybe okay. Sebab dia boleh berlaku when this kind of a strong move happens. Okay. Similar kat sini, dia boleh consolidate dekat sini. Okey kata pun apa trader SND dia uh, panggil apa tu rally uh, base rally ah uh, something like that so dia dah rally dia create base dekat atas ni puncak lepas tu dia buat satu lagi rally lepas tu baru dia turun bawah so that part you guys have to be be, uh, be careful lah i think uh, very likely on this AJ pair because uh, we are not seeing a JPY become a safe haven uh, at this point and it's also still uh, very weak uh, In, on a, in a broader term, I believe market will create this 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 move again, something similar. Okay, that means the naik atas, cuba break this resistance ataupun the bit of rejection. Kita pun dah masuk, but it consolidate for some time and then break out, consolidate and then break out. Lepas tu baru make a deeper pullback. Okay, so something like this this move. So just watch out for. Kalau nak sell uh, at this point, I won't recommend. Generally, kalau on a weekly atau H4 time frame, uh, I will recommend to sell at this uh, this uh, resistance. Tapi bila kita nampak weekly time frame, uh, it doesn't look okay. So it's more of a buy on dip uh, kind of thing. So kalau dia turun, buy ke atas. Dia turun, buy ke atas. Sampai probably we we'll see a clear rejection dekat weekly. Uh, time frame, okay. Uh, bila dah sampai ke puncak ni, I think that will be a good place lah. Maknanya lagi tiga atau empat atau pip, uh, then ke sini you all boleh martingale ataupun dollar cost averaging lah. Cuba sell. So this will be a zone kalau nak sell. At this point, uh, kalau tak scalp intraday, dah nak, nak ambil dalam 30-60 pip, I think probably okay. Tapi uh, ni lah. Dia macam gold. Gold pun kadang-kadang buat macam ni juga. Kita nampak dekat daily dah register lepas tu kita sell dia turun sedikit dalam hmm. berapa 5 10 dolar lepas tu dia naik ke atas hari weekly atau monthly okey so back to siapa tu uh, abe siapa tu answer okey uh, i will i will okey i will advise kalau nak sell a swing sell duduk kat uh, tunggu kat atas tapi kalau scalp intraday boleh sell tapi uh, kita punya recommendation is more on a buy on dip lah okey sebab Uh, JPY not yet showing uh, the mere true safe haven at this point, okay? Ataupun kita tak nampak uh, apa uh, potential financial crisis at this point. Uh, tapi kalau benda tu berlaku ataupun uh, uh, Ukraine Russia issue become uh, out of control, then uh, NATO ataupun it become more close to like a World War Three punya ni. Of course, uh, touch wood with the oil uh, Benda tu dah mula uh, nampak. Even at this point, then uh, we probably can sell AJ, okay? Tapi at this point, uh, we are not uh, hoping or we are not expecting this, okay? So just uh, sell sell uh, on rally dekat atas ni. Tapi it's more of a buy on dip lah, okay? So this one uh, AJ. So since ada kat sini, uh, Bun, uh, maybe saya boleh tunjuk gold terus lah. Oh, okay. oh UJ also, Cikgu Rashid. Rashid. Oh yeah, UJ. UJ is quite interesting. Yes. So, saya ada nampak juga UJ. Uh, so saya nampak kenapa JPY pair ni tak turun-turun. Sebab yes. uh, UJ uh, making a new uh, higher high. Okay, kita tengok mm. dekat dari before hourly time frame. Uh, nampak uh, pergerakan ni jarang-jarang kita nampak dekat UJ. Yeah. UJ is uh, ni. 
Tapi nampak dia break hari tu 115 rasanya. Masa kita analisa few months ago. Lepas tu dia pergi dekat 116 then 117. Sampai ke almost sekarang ni dia dah dekat uh, 117 plus going to 118. Okay. So UJ still looking uh, very strong to upside. Uh, I think 118.40 is the one uh, I, I marked it uh, untuk sell lah. Okay. So this is where I'm looking at it uh, to sell. So that's anywhere between 118 to 118.50. Uh, I think market probably will go into this. That's why UJ, I don't recommend any AJ pass or GJ, not to say GJ, uh, NJ, AJ, NJ and UJ, these three. Uh, currently on the, on the same uh, direction or the same magnitude, uh, we are probably expecting it's create a new higher high at uh, generally not to say all time high, but we uh, on to, on to, on to, on to test this previous resistance, high resistance. Okay, so uh, take out like a daily time frame. Okay, it's keep making, although it's uh, kalau indicator mungkin tunjuk overbought zone. <laughs> Stokasti mm. ataupun RSI, I think we'll be showing everyone uh, overbought zone, uh, it's time to sell. Tapi nampak ni, dia, dia, dia pergi ke atas, dia turun bawah sedikit, lepas tu naik, break ni, ke atas. So I think it will consolidate a bit and then naik ke atas, consolidate and then goes probably just uh, create a double top ataupun uh, make a new high. Probably it can go even as high as 119, okay, sebelum dia make a uh, correction. So this move, of course, is a very strong move uh, for UJ. Uh, hardly we see that kind of a move. Okay, most of the time they mention euro chef consolidate. Okay, uh, so uh, this kind of a move is something like a move yang macam ni lah. So they dari sini ke atas. Okay, uh, generally UJ will be uh, orang kata consolidated between on a high range to low range uh, macam ni. Tapi pasal US dollar is uh, apa? Uh, we are expecting uh, interest rate high and uh, due to uh, what's the safe haven uh, punya ni. Okay, so US dollar is taking a uh, safe haven at this point uh, versus JPY. Uh, generally JPY akan menjadi safe haven uh, more uh, versus US dollar. Tapi uh, this time around US dollar become uh, the real safe haven. Okay. Uh, so I think we are, we are involved in this big country, Russia. I think everyone is uh, moving the currency back to US dollar instead of uh, JPY. Okay, so I think uh, the move, as I mentioned, is still on the upside. Okay, kalau uh, nak sell, uh, sell dari atas lah. So uh, UJ ni boleh dapat kalau scalp intraday, macam tadi saya beritahu tu, boleh dapat dalam maybe dalam 50, 60 pip macam tu. Boleh tapi market bila dia turun sedikit, still pushing higher, It's still pouncing higher. Okay, so sama macam AJ dengan NJ, so UJ also we are looking uh, to, to to go up. So it's a buy on dip, sell on rally at a later part uh, bila maybe after couple of months ataupun after couple of weeks, uh, then only uh, we see to sell from the top. Okay, good. Okay, baik. Terima kasih Encik Gorshet. So, itu analisa untuk AJ dan UJ. Eh.